I'm delighted to be here today. I'm, I'm actually a little bit terrified as well, but I'm delighted uh, because I have a great story to tell. I begin by also acknowledging that we are on Ngunnawal country and I pay my respects to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in the audience or watching online today. Now, I invite you to cast your mind back and see how many of you can remember what you were doing 386 days ago, which is a bit of a random, random number, but let's see how you go. But I'm thinking most of you would have no idea. If I was to point out that that day was the 10th of August 2021, might you remember now? What about, and you can see where I'm going with this, what about if I pointed out that the 10th of August 2021 was the day of Australia's 18th census? Even with that context, many of you would probably still struggle to actually remember what you were doing on a particular day over a year ago. For the Australians in the audience, a third of you would have been completing your census sometime that day, and many others of you would already have completed it. So having said all that, now do you remember jumping online or perhaps filling in one of these forms? And if you did fill in a paper form, really? Are you at the right event? <laughs> you know? I would expect in this audience that pretty much everybody did it online. I'm just going to use that as a working assumption. If you don't really remember completing your census form, then that's fantastic because we worked really hard with our key collaborators in the digital space, notably PwC and AWS, to successfully deliver a census that was easy, quick and secure. And today I'm going to focus on our work with AWS. They were a key part of Australia's census story and we couldn't have done it without them. A little bit about the census. It's big. We say it's the biggest peacetime event in Australia and at peak we employ over 30,000 people. That's the equivalent of every man, woman and child in a town the size of, say, Wodonga or Dubbo. The census represents half a billion dollars of taxpayer investment but delivers six times that of value to the economy. That is a good return on investment, providing we get the quality of the data that we need and we get the census right. So what happened? How did we get the census right with the help of AWS? In 2017, ABS delivered the Marriage Law Postal Survey, and that was our first foray into cloud services. With AWS, we built an online form for Australians who were living overseas to be able to complete the survey. And in fact, I used it as I was living in New Zealand at that time. And during this process, we experienced the, firsthand the scale and security available in cloud technology. So when it came time to planning for the 2021 census, we were already comfortable choosing a cloud-based solution, even though there were very few government-based solutions at that time. In the three years leading up to the census, we worked collaboratively with PwC and AWS to bring our vision to life and to build a census digital solution that was secure, innovative, and could deliver performance at the scales that we knew would be required. The digital service isn't just the form that you would have filled in. It also included the census website, a content management system, and self-service facilities such as telling us that your house would be vacant ordering a paper form or getting a new code. In the design and build of the Census Digital Service, we collaborated with the Australian Cyber Security Centre and specialist cyber security firms to develop a cyber strategy and to, provide, and to obtain a range of assessment and uplift activities. And we're very thankful for the assistance that we received there. Our digital preparations culminated in the ABS performing the largest denial of service test ever conducted in Australia, and AWS facilitated this. And I would say that we all learnt a lot about mounting a test of this size, and it was at this point that we started doing work um, with AWS Worldwide to manage that test. If you're interested in that aspect of things, Craig Lindemeyer, our ABS cybersecurity specialist, is here today, and you can find out more about this work from Craig at the workshops after lunch. Turning to the relationship that we had with AWS, as we built the census, there were four key characteristics that stood out. Firstly, the shared vision and passion that we had in the value and importance of the census to Australia. 
and therefore we both shared a very deep and very genuine desire to see it succeed. The, uh, the AWS, built, AWS built trust with us very, very quickly. Not only that they could deliver technically, but that they had our backs and that they would go into bat for us where we knew that was needed. There was great communication at all levels. So we knew what was happening, we knew when things were going well, we knew when things were a bit behind, or if it was difficult to find a, an answer to a, a problem. The fourth piece that I'll call out is the, a problem-solving mindset. Of course, in such a large, complex, high-stakes build, things don't always go to plan. And on numerous occasions, AWS designed and brokered solutions to problems with and on behalf of the ABS, and of course, in doing that, worked with PwC. AWS and other companies were with us in ABS House on Census Night, and we really felt very much and functioned like one team. You couldn't really tell who was who. And we were very pleased, in a perverse sort of way, that Census Night was pretty boring for us, that nothing happened and the system worked seamlessly, not only on Census Night, but for the entire time that it was um, performing. And that's, that started in April with the website and didn't finish until October. I said at the beginning that we designed the census to be easy to use. A key measure of our success was the very significant amount of positive feedback we received from the public. Many were very effusive about how easy the form was to navigate, whether that was on a phone, a tablet, an Xbox, and even for the three people who did it on their Tesla. More, go figure. Moreover, the digital service was designed to, to support a range of assistive technologies, and we in fact won a, an award for being inclusive and having the, the best accessible government website for the year. Now, I'm a numbers person, so here are a few metrics about how it all went. By the end of census night, we saw 52% of households having completed their census form online, which was well above what we were forecasting. Overall, we received 7.7 .7 million forms in total online, which is about 80, we're just on 80% of returns. And interestingly, for those aged over 80, 42% returned their census online. The digital service um, also received 18 million visits to the website. And it was able to scale on census night to receive 2.8 million uh, forms for in that 24-hour period. The service peaked with a submission rate of 142 forms per second at 8.05 p.m. And as I said, it performed seamlessly with no downtime. Overall, we achieved a 96.1% response rate for the census, again above our target, and that's really my favourite number about the census. In short, the 2021 Census Digital Service set a new benchmark for digital delivery in government. Every census is important, but the 2021 census will be remembered for the information it has provided on how we lived and worked during the pandemic, with this census being taken when over half of us were in lockdown. The first release of the 2021 census data in June showed Australia's population had grown to 25.4 million, that we have as now as many millennials as we do baby boomers, and that we're increasingly culturally diverse. The second release of the 2021 census data will occur on the 12th of October and it will provide insights on topics including employment, journey to work and occupation. All of these, of course, will have been affected by the pandemic. The census was a true team effort and I thank AWS for being such a vital and valuable member of the 2021 census team. But most of all, I thank you for providing your data 386 days ago or thereabouts. Every stat tells a story and the data that you provided is now being used to inform decisions that support you, your family, your community and makes our country better. Thank you.